What is up, YouTube? It's Peter Gatine here, and welcome to Chorus Party. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Think it's speed. What is this? And yeah, I know it's not the like the popular version that uh, a lot of YouTubers played. You know, back in the day when this game was just popular, and like you know, PewDiePie and Corey Kenshin. But guys, this was one of my most favorite games of all time back in the day. And it still is. And, you know, I had to play this for you guys. I know it's not the original or, like, the popular version, but, you know, I just wanted to play it for you guys. And this is the version I could get. Uh, I know this is, like, the chibi character one, which sucks is it makes them look way younger than they really are. But, uh, I'm not going to hold you guys to it, and we're just going to see what's going on. <clears throat> View the chapter one opening. Yeah, I like it. Hey, they still got like the little like sound bites and stuff. Alright, all right, I see it. It's a little different, like the format. But I like it, Diggy. Sachi is my pride and joy. Oh, yeah, Sachiko. She'd do anything for me. I don't get. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. Alright, alright. Oh, Krez is creepy. But I still love her with all my heart. Blech. It's a little eerie, but uh, we'll go with that. So let's see what they got. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Oh, it's a girl voice, God. Oh my God, it's a Yumi. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. Damn, that's the way to go right there. And she died. Wow, so blunt. Uh, you mean, why are you so blunt? Come on now. This took place in the school called Heavenly Host Elementary. And it wasn't long after the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed over to the ground and forgotten. But the elementary school once were, but that elementary school once stood right here on the side of where now Kisagari is. Kiser, Kisaragi Academy. Uh, I can't read. Kisaragi Academy. Way to ruin the mood, Speed. Alright. Some say the teacher still has no idea she's dead. Even to this very day, and on rainy evenings like this, after classes can come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. Ooh. In fact, it's almost time to make her rounds, just after, just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark in his night. Knock, knock. You'll hear from the blackness, followed by the sound of the classroom door, slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anybody still here? And then... Ow! Yeah! God damn it, Satoshi. Okay. Hey. Hey. Ugh. My boy Satoshi. It's just a thunder machine. <laughs> Hey, my girl Naomi. I gotta say, that was pretty impressive. That was a pretty impressive reaction. <laughs> hey, my boy, my boy Yoshiki. He was my favorite, bro. He was my favorite. He was my favorite, man. Still is. Come on, stop laughing. <laughs> Most amusing. It was, it was just bad timing. That's all. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Mushida. It's so rewarding. Okay. Hmm. Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Hmm. Who ever heard of a boy who can't hit a note like that when he screams? <laughs> oh, my girl Seiko. Eek, save me. <laughs> my boy, my boy Yoshiki. Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any more fight. Or, let's not have any fight, okay? 
if you don't hurry up and get back to uh, back to cleaning this place up, or if we don't hurry up and get back to cleaning this place up, it'll be seven o'clock till we do. And you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointment, the appointed time, now would you? Hey, some of the text is a little bit different, guys, from the original, which sucks. Ah, ah I missed the original one, but whatever. Or like the popular one. Let's just say popular one. Too late. My, it really is seven already. And the bridge doesn't even show any signs of stopping. Didn't you bring in a breakfast sheet? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Oh yeah, she, she. My, you really like more to see, guys. Ah, good old days, man. Really, thank you. That, that would be lovely. What? A black huh? No, it, it can't be. Hello? Uh, hello? Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? I mean, you guys are here, so what's your reasoning now? Da, da, da. Are, are they gone? Hey, Satoshi, aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one, one inch. I'm scared too, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, we can move now. Hey. Alright, so let's talk to the characters. My boy Yoshiki. I think I'm more scared than you, so I'll leave this duty in your in your capable hands. Man, you really are an ass sometimes, you know that? E, I still like him though. Satoshi, you want me to come with you? No, I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. Shiver. Mushida, I don't think you should go. Okay. Thanks for the advice. What about you? You don't think Ayumi Stern might be true, do you? Could be. What about you? I hate you, Morishigi. I hate your guts. Alright, let's go. Huh? Ah! Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. Ah. Gotcha. You didn't scare me, miss. Come on now. I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys were seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? I guess we didn't finish, guys. Miss Yui. Ah. What? <laughs> Did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shishido, you've heard the story too? If it's the old tale about Heavenly House Elementary, uh, uh, school, then of course I have. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here, myself. God damn, I should probably wait until the text is done. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When it comes to the seven wonders of the Kiseragi High, I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now. Though, I can't take credit for the blackout. That was just good fortune. Anyway, Moshida? Yes. Ye oh, yeah. I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Huh? Come on in. Hello, everybody. Hey, my girl, Yuka. Yuka? What are you doing here? Big brother! Oh my god, what the freak? Her face, man. She looked even younger than... The... Oh my god, she looked more younger than she did in the last game, guys. I, I can't. Seems Moshida forgot his umbrella this morning. So little you could, uh, came here all this way to deliver it. Oh yeah, I, I guess I did. Sorry about that. Thanks, Yuka. <laughs> oh my gosh, she sounds even more childish. Is she from the junior high? 
Junior high? Bro, she look like a baby. What the? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. <laughs> Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Be here a little while. Really? Well, that's okay. I hope too. You will? Okay, thanks. Alright, looks like we got two extra pairs of hands now. So let's show this mess who's boss. Alright, we're gonna clean. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Guess you're bumping me into this too, huh? Yep, miss. Okay, everybody. Nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Oh my god, I, I always did that, man. I regret it, man. I regret always sleeping in, man. Now that I'm about to graduate from high school, man, I feel like I would want to do way more things that I would have done, man. Like, I wish I started my YouTube channel earlier. You know, I could have been better right now than I... I could have been better than I am right now. <sighs> but, you know, you don't learn until it's too late. Or you don't learn until, you know, your experiences. Like, you know what I mean, but whatever. <clears throat> uh, today's a Red Bean Cafe... Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival. So do give yourself a hand. You guys worked so hard and it really paid off. And you even uh, resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA? TA? What's a TA? Couldn't be more proud of you, I'm guessing, teacher? Teacher assistant? I don't know. So, have some milk coffee. Or coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kind of lukewarm. Whatever that means. My stomach's so gurgly. I don't think milk, milk would sit well on me right now. These are are from your fight with that vending machine, I'll bet. You must you must have pulled that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. <sighs> Crap, you saw that, huh? Yep. Miss Yui, thank you. Thank you, thanks. Yeah, thanks, miss. You're very welcome. Hey, she a cool teach. Thanks, teach. Yeah, thanks, Teach. Susumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Oh, she's switching school, guys. Oh, so sad. Sad times for Mayu. <laughs> thanks. Oh, she's gonna cry. It won't be the same around here without you, Suzumi. Morishige, I hate you. But I know you got something to say. I know you, Susumoto. You'll make new friends in no time. No time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break. Well, I'll make sure to come visit. Hey, hey, that's the that's the crew right there. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? Da da da. Not even gonna answer to my boy, bro. You're just gonna leave him like that. You're gonna leave him hanging. Thank you, all of you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Ah, that's all sad. Yep, it is. Nothing we could do about it, though. Fortunately. Hey, Miss Shishido. Before we go... Ah, oh, damn it, Ayumi. Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind? If we try something, it's called Sachiko Ever After. W who's Sachiko, and what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Heh, kind of. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends, anyways. That's the gist of it. Hey. Oh, it's a charm. Yep. Yep, that's all Shinosaki had to say. His motto is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. 
Yeah, she's like a cult girl. I dig it. I dig it. Guess it can't hurt. If every if everybody is okay with this, or is everybody okay with this? Is what she said. Uh, God damn it. God damn it, speed. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay, charm. God damn it, Yuki. You look so. Ugh. Sure, whatever. Or sure, whatever. Oh, the cool guy, yeah, my boy Yashiki. You already know. What is Shiki? You too? Ah, uh, yes. I hate you. Looks like the the A's have it. The floor is all yours, Shinozaki. Great. I I got this. Okay, everybody, gather in a circle around this paper doll, uh, Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine, yes, nine times. Don't worry if you flub it a little. Just make sure you don't stop partway through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less. Or the charm will fail. Alright, alright, huh? Alright, let's get started. Everybody, remember the charm? Yeah. Sachiko, Sachiko, we beg of you nine times. Ready? Begin. I, I, I you got this. Uh, y'all got this. Hurry up! Hurry up! Come on! Can't be that long. Ah! <sighs> Everybody said nine times. Probably, most likely, yeah. Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up. I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody, reach towards the paper doll and grab a hold of it anywhere you can. Okay, that little, that little thing, whatever it is, like this. Exactly. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're gonna pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, pull. Let's get it. Hey. Nicely done, everyone. Now, just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm. As long as we all have a little piece of it, of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another as friends. Well, that's the purpose of this charm. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool. I have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Hmm, right. Thank you, Shinozaki. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'll treasure this forever. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Well, I had to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. Huh? 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 An earthquake? Ah! Ah! Ah, it's getting! Ah! What the heck? This is like... Holy crap, big! What? Holy crap, big! Big brother, I'm scared! You can take my hand! Ah. Everyone stay calm, get under the desk until it passes! Ah. Hurry up! Let's go! How you come? How you come? Ah, tycoon! Ah. ah, the floor! Everybody hang on to something, if you can. No. Ah, mm, get scared. What the heck is going on? I can't. Damn it, I can't see a thing. Nami, where are you? Satoshi. Hey, that was, wow, guys, that was pretty crazy, man. Jesus Christ. What an intro. Da, 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 da. Ah. Ouch. 
Oof. Oh, my leg. Ah, oh, my leg. I, I can't move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Huh? Well, where? I'm not at home, am I? I can't be. We're in the school, guys. Huh? It's so dark. I could barely see a thing. Is this the school? Huh? What's going on? What the heck? What is this place? I don't know, man, but it's pretty crazy. Hey, hey, we, we in the school now. Hey, hey. There's a loose board lying on the ground, though scratched up and banged up. It still seems to be fully intact, and not much worse for the wear. Huh. That's, uh... Hey! <gasps> Is that Seiko? Seiko, Seiko! This isn't good. God damn it, Seiko, wake up! I gotta go get you, man. God dang it, let me save you. I don't know how to save guys, but oh God dang it Naomi. Ow <clears throat> That really hurts. My ankle it, it's in pretty bad shape. Yep, pretty what is this? Pretty bad shape. Uh you're not gonna read it. Not even gonna like uh, look at it. Oh there we go. Third student reported missing. Since the first experience giving parents a classroom. Uh, Alright, so basically, uh, people were, or like, kids started going missing and, like, the police came to, you know, do, uh, investigations and stuff. Alright, so, there's some sort of official looking printout printed to the wall. Hmm? No time for that. Now I've gotta go check on Seiko. Yep. Hey, my girl Seiko. Seiko! Seiko, Seiko. Say. Thank goodness she's still breathing. Hey, she's still breathing, guys. <clears throat> Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up. Eh? Huh? Hello? Huh? Naomi? What's up? Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Uh, where... Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Yuppie. Uh, mm, yeah. Ah, it ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out. B pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the heck is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desk seem unusually small to you, though? Like, in elementary school. In elementary school? It, it, it can't be, can it? Hold up, hold up. <laughs> oh, I can hear you guys hearing this music, man. Ah. That's what I loved about this game, man. The soundtrack. Huh? What is it? The printout. On the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heaven Heavenly Host? Isn't that... The elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god, what ha what is happening? Where the heck are we? And where are our friends and Miss Yui? <sighs> Calm down, Seiko. Don't, don't get so worked up. S sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I've been shaking so hard I couldn't hear my teeth chatter. 
I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was going on. I kept telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Would you say Naomi? Tell me, tell me. Hey, hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try to finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here uh, quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're all stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but... There might be an entrance way or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside? Yep, yeah, we should probably get out of here. You're right, and it's a lot better than just standing around. Yeah, you gotta do something, guys, come on. I feel like I'm gonna lose, go all loony in here if we keep, if we keep this up. Okay, then. First step is to leave this room, alright. We've gotta keep our spirits up, after all. It's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around here somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can't reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. Yeah, hey, I'm feeling it. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad, I'd start to scream, I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could, I could manage. A facade, eh? Character introductions, eh? Hey. Direct the eye toward any character and put it in. Alright, so uh, let's meet the characters, guys. Let's start off with Satoshi. Satoshi Moshida, age 17. He don't look 17 in this game, guys. In the other one, I guess he kind of looks 17. Yeah, he definitely looks kind of 17. Uh, student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High, class 2-9. Fairly average, but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personal. Or uh, he's very personable, per personable, and open with complements his general which complements his general sensitivity towards others and makes him a natural leader. The person ever to challenge the leadership is now the only one the one person to ever challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequently the only person to whom Satoshi regularly refers judgment. Hey Naomi <coughs> Naomi Nakashima, age sixteen. A student in Kisaragi Academy. Uh, class 2 now, same class, you already know. Classmate of Satoshi since junior high, since middle school, god damn. Frequently greets, me Sato greets Satoshi with, oh, not you again. Aw, oh, she's definitely a tsundere, guys, freaking tsundere. But you know, I love my, I love me some tsundere. Uh, having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depends on one another for moral support. Still, she, oh. Why am I talking like a girl, guys? For more support, still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which is which she intends on pursuing. She depends her time studying in for her acceptance to medical school. Hey, I admire that, I admire that. Seiko Shinohara, hey, she used to be my, well, back in the day when I used to watch her, bro, she was like my crush. If, if you know what I mean, guys, you ever had like a crush on like, a fictional character, man. I had a lot of crushes on fictional characters, man. Uh, probably like the last one I ever had was probably um, from this one anime I saw. It was called uh, Nyankoi. It was like this one girl named uh, Freak. I forgot her name. It was uh, oh yeah, Mizuno. Yes, Mizuno. Kaide Mizuno, bro. She was my crush, bro, and she was. Uh, it was weird, I don't know, because, you know what I mean, it's a little weird, but at the same time, it's like, 
how could you not, man? Alright, so age 16, a free spirit. She often says or does things that take others by surprise. Though she's also, oh, why am I talking like this? Come on, talk regular. Though she's also easily forgiven due to her ingenuine good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Well, she's like Naomi, guys. Like Naomi lost her mother, or her father, but Seiko, she lost her mother, and she has to take on that responsibility. That's pretty hard. Seiko seems to we regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them have frequently long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Uh, best friends then. Yuka, you. You little alien ball, you. 14? She is not 14, man. She is at least 5 years old. Come on now. Satoshi's little sister, though. She's an 8th grade, eighth grader at Junior or uh, at Kisura Academy Junior High School. She looks and acts much younger. In the Moshida's household, Yuka's always. She's a lolly, basically. Uh, in the Moshida household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is. And this often gets her into trouble. Alright. Alright, alright, and uh, Come on, there. Miss Yui. Miss Yui Shishido, age 23. She don't look 23, guys. She look younger than that. An 11th grade English teacher at Kisigardia Academy Senior High School. Just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious. And her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher assistant during homeroom for class 2-9 and really seems to have connected with the students there. When she's in charge, all eyes are on her always. Alright, she's just cool. I'll save him for last, bro, because he's my favorite. Ayumi, I like the Ayumi, bro. A lot of people hated her, but I freaking love her, man. Alright, let's see. Let's see what Ayumi got to see. The appointed re representative of Kisaragi Academy High, uh, Kisaragi Academy High, Class 2 9, often objects to classmates to ghost stories and reveals. Are uh, revels in hearing them scream. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other hard goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. <laughs> That's a little weird, but <laughs> yeah, I like it. I dig it. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this uh, wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi in its intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. And my boy Yoshiki, hey, Yoshiki Kishinuma, age 17. A student in Kisaragi Academy, senior high, class 2-9. So they're all basically in the same class besides the uh, Yuka there. Often regarded as uh, sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to be part, not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. Hey, he's a, he's the bad boy, but you know he he has a soft a soft spot for Satoshi and Ayumi because well he likes Ayumi and well Satoshi is pretty much his best friend. <clears throat> With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent in a small apartment where he lives alone. Hey, I dig that, I dig that. Hey, that's pretty sick. Alright, we done, guys. Hey, can we read this? Alright, let's just go. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we back, guys. Come on, man. I mean, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me save though. Can I save or not? Or right, let's just keep going. Wait a sec. Oh no, eek! Ah, another earthquake? No. God dang. Is it over? Phew. 
I've had enough. Yep. Let's just get out of here, uh, out of this room. Yeah, we gotta take the first step. Huh? What's wrong? The layout changed. This hallway looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse. Yeah, maybe. Alright, so we can't go he, he we can't go he but in this bucket. There's a yellow uh, it's, it's 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 piss. What the heck is this? P? Yep. Ugh, don't say that. Yes, yeah, and uh, we can't go down there. We can go over here though. Hey. Uh hey Naomi? Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Aw, okay, thanks. Aw, no friendship they got going. Lose board, yeah. Yeah, take that. Let me take that board. I like that they still kept like the original like uh, little uh, sound bites or whatever. Oh, I dig it, man. It just brings nostalgia like to my ears and stuff. The gap is relatively narrow, it seems. Hey, Naomi, what about that loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? Yeah, probably. Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. It seems kind of beat up, but I guess it's pretty solid. You gotta take risks, man. Life is a risk, man. Alright, alright, let's see. This board has been set in place. Alright, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. It supports our weight, so we good. Hey, a candle. Just what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. This candle. I could have swear I've seen it before. You gotta love my station. I'll just keep doing that. Hey, what is this? Oh, what the hell? Such tiny shoes. This really wasn't a lunch school, huh? Yeah. Yep. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Or, oh yeah, her little brothers. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working late tonight, isn't he? Yep. All those months to feed don't come cheap after all. And while dad's working to put some food in, uh, you know. I get to be the house frog. <laughs> the heck is a house frog? Yeah, I guess you and them are still just little kids. Somebody will need to be around. You're pretty amazing, Seiko. High schooler and a mom? All rolled into one. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> yeah. I just have to get back to them, though. Yeah, aww. I guess it's the same for you too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. But we'll make it back. I know we will. One way or another. We'll get out of this place. You bet. Alright, let's get out. Let's do this again. Entrance way. The heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely or unwilling to open through any normal means. Ah! Open up! Oof. No good. Won't budge. Didn't feel like it gave it at all. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to get out if we. Uh, I, I can't read. Come on. I don't think we'll be able to force it open. Man, so close and yet so far. Well, guess we better look for another way out. Yeah. That girls are weak. 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 Oh my God! You know what else is weak? My mom. Alright, if you guys get all that reference, you're the man, or, or girl, or you know, you're the woman, whatever, whatever you prefer to be called. Huh? Uh, take this board. Yeah, let's take this board, acquire the loose board. Alright, let's move onward, men. Or, people. Alright. 
place the dang board, yeah. Yeah. Loose board has been set in place. Alright, let's cross. Alright, at least we're going in here. Ah, hello? Hello? Ah! Ow, what's wrong, Naomi? L look over there. Aren't those bones? Like, p people bones? People bones. People bones. Just say real bones. That's all you gotta say. God dang it, Naomi. Uh. Eek! It's kitty. What? Why is there a dead person here? Wait. L let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. Oh yeah, Naomi's trying to be a medical student. Let's see. Let's see if she got the skills to tell if it's real or not. Hele, hele. Da da da. There really are somebody's bones. All right, she she pretty smart. I I give her a, I give her an A. I give her an A. No. Oh no. Seiko. You too. Eep. You two are new victims, are you not? A, a ghost! Well, who, who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined, just like you. Uh, where is he? Well, we already know, I mean, it's Heavenly Host. Confined, uh, let's just say confined. Confined? Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. Nah, this school exists in a reality all on its own, cut off from the world you know. So why? Why have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into this school. Sinless innocents, one after another, all trapped in here, doomed to live out the rest of their days in this hell. Wh who are they? This is a cursed multidimensional nexus, multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty crazy, bro. That's pretty complex. Pretty complex storyline they got going on. Close space, or close space, or perhaps close spaces. You and we all, as well, are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We've all been abducted. Closed bases? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here too? Are they okay? I wonder. So our friends, are, are they in this school too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled in to this space at the exact same time as you. They're definitely in this school. Oh my god, that's such good news, Naomi. They're here, we're not alone. Ta -ta -ta -ta. That means Moshida's here too. I'll bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? <laughs> she got a crush on Satoshi. However, you cannot meet them. Huh? They're definitely in the school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into this space. How the heck would we do that, man? Come on now. Even then, escape is highly impossible or nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh, oh god. Is there any way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they? And what have they taken? Why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives of our captors nor our means of escaping this heck or this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space, and that alone is fate worth fighting for. I guess, man, I guess. I'd rather escape. Honestly, not just uh, accept my fate and die. 
two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when you're working together. Hey, two heads are better than one, man. Come on now. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Oh, god dang. This is pretty deep, guys. Huh? Uh, no. Huh? <laughs> ah! Eek! No, me wrong. We have to get out of here. Now! O okay. Well, let's go. What are you doing? What? Why are you going the other way? Go the. Oh my Jesus, man. <laughs> Are you alright, Seiko? Dajobu, Seiko. Y yeah, but what the heck was that? A child spirit? It did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. Ah, <sighs> pretty crazy, guys, to experience this, man. Oh, hell no. If I was there, man, I'd probably square up to the ghost. Like, come on, what's up? Mm, 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 mm. Hit him with that one, two. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, and we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It, it, it'll be okay, let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high, or something. Aw, oh, Seiko, I, I like you, man, I like you, man. You used to be my crush, man. Oh, Seiko. Hey, Blue Ghost, what's good? Hey, you should die here. You'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven completely shut off, cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just internal pain. Ugh, what did I have to die like that? Oh, uh, oh, crappy death, miserable death, what is this? Acquired unknown key, so we got a key, hey. So we'll feel the pain of death forever. Best not to think about that. Yeah, yeah, best not to think about that, man. Right, let's try not to get caught by the ghost this time. Oh, she's not here, okay. Sorry, Bones. Help me. Help me, yeah, yeah. Judge me the Class 3 4, Yoshiyuki Shinohara. Hey, that's the same last name as Seiko. Coincidence? I think not. Alright, uh, let's save. Alright, guys, but uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. The video is getting far too long as it is. And I like this game, man. Even though it's not like the the one that I remember and all, it's alright. I like it. It's almost like it. it's not exactly. I wish like the sprites were the same and stuff. Like the voice acting was bad. Cause guys, if you have not seen like the old game, the voice acting was amazing, man. And any player who or anybody who has already seen the play or like the playthrough, like a playthrough from PewDiePie or like Corey Kenshin. You know the freaking voice acting was so great, man. That's what I feel like. That's what made the game so great. Well, not only that, but the story as well. But I don't know. Like the voice acting was one of the biggest highlights in my book. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, I think this is gonna be it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, my brothers and sisters. Peace out.